Hey guys, it's Stephanie. How are you guys doing? I know I've been MIA for a while and that's because I've been working on videos for next month because I'm doing some horror videos. If you guys didn't see that already on Twitter, then keep a look out for that because I've filmed a few and I'm pretty excited about them. If you guys know me, you know I love horror and I love talking about it. So I'm excited for that, but that's why I haven't been making videos recently. So I just wanted to kind of do a check-in and do just a really casual currently reading. Um, this is basically the only spot in my house that gets really good natural light. So I'm just here in my dining room. But anyway, so the first book I am reading and will probably be reading for a bit, let's be honest, is Dr. Zhivago by Boris Pasternak. Um, this is the, the PNV translation that Michael hates. Um, but speaking of Michael, we were doing this buddy read. It was me, Michael from Knowledge Lost, and Stephanie from Time to Read. But Michael is an overachiever and he finished the book like days ago. So I think Stephanie and I so far are kind of on the same track. So hopefully we'll be getting through this together. Yeah, he, he finished already. I am on chapter three. But it's it's finally getting to where I'm a little more aware of what's going on in the beginning. There was just so many characters thrown at you. I wasn't sure who to focus on. Um, but now the story has finally kind of settled on its main characters. So I feel a little more certain of what's happening. So I'm happy about that. The second book I am reading, I am finishing today and I couldn't be freaking happier because it was the biggest waste of my time. <laughs> This is Michael Chabon's Summerland. I was reading this with Adam over at Memento Mori, and I think he can agree that it was a week of torture to get through this. This is middle grade fantasy that is super drawn out and doesn't make any sense. It's 500 pages of middle grade fantasy. I don't know. It it has to do with like baseball and American folklore, and I, I guess I like it. I like the idea of it more than the execution of it. I just don't care about any of these characters and for it being so long, everything just happens so fast. I, I just don't have time to really care about anything and I am just really looking forward to this read, for this read to be just over. Another buddy read I'm doing this month is I'm reading Broken Monsters by Lauren Bukes uh, with Julie from A Girl and a Book. This is a thriller um, when a detective finds the body of a 12 year old boy kind of fused together with like half the body of a deer, like the top half is boy, bottom half is deer. And it's really gross and there's a lot of perspectives. This takes place in Detroit and I'm really interested to see where this goes. I think it's really interesting because uh, Lauren Bukes is from South Africa so I find it pretty interesting that she decided to write about Detroit. Um, so far I really like it. The writing was exactly what I needed. Um, you know Dr. Zhivago is kind of slow sometimes and then Summerland was a total slog so picking this up was just such a breath of fresh air. The writing is a lot like uh, Gillian Flynn and it's fast paced and it's dark and it's everything I like in a thriller so I'm, I'm pretty happy about this. And I am listening to The Exorcist um, as an audiobook. Uh, the Exorcist by William Peter Blatty, and he actually narrates this audiobook for the 40th anniversary edition, and it's really good. You know, at the beginning, it was just really good at kind of laying all the details out and kind of having some creepy, unsettling things and then building off of that, and I am in the middle of part two. I think it's either three or four parts, and like stuff is now finally starting to happen with Reagan and it's getting, it's getting good. It's getting creepy. Um, I've never seen the movie cause this was just one where I wanted to read the book first. And I think we're going to do like a watch along cause I'm doing this as a, a big buddy read. I don't know if I mentioned that. Yeah, it's a, it's a big buddy read um, with Liz over at Mountain City Books and Devin over at the Indie Insomniac. Erica at Perks of Books and Steve Donahue and Joe at the Retired Book Nerd and we're all kind of doing this big group chat about it and I think we're planning on, on doing a group chat and watch sometime whenever we finish this so that'll be exciting. 
But I think that is everything I am reading at the moment. I do need to start another one of my NetGalley books because I went like NetGalley crazy, you know, and requested way too many and then got approved for more than I thought I was going to get approved. So now I have a whole Kindle full of books that I need to read. You know how that is. So I should get to that. I need to go through and pick whichever one I'm going to read next, you know. But anyway, just wanted to talk to you guys and tell you guys what I'm reading. If you guys have read any of these books, let me know. Or just let me know what you're reading this week. I'd love to know. Talk to me in the comments and see you again soon.